I was surprised to realize that even though these two problems look very similar, conceptually, they're miles apart. Let's see how these problems play out on the number line to deepen our understanding of the difference between the two. For four divided by a third, we start off by drawing a length of four units. And we want to see how many one third units will fit within those four. So let's add thirds onto our number line. Now starting at zero, we want to see how many thirds do we have until we get to four. I find that drawing the jumps helps us to count it. It took 12 one third jumps to get to four, so four divided by one third equals 12. Now for this problem, we're starting with a length of one third. So we make our number line from zero to one and place one third on it. Now we want to divide that by four or share it between four people. So we break one third up into four pieces and our answer is just one of those, what one person would get. But we're still left with the question, what fraction is that of one whole? We can break our other segments into fourths as well, and we can see that we have four, eight, 12 segments. So this is one twelfth of a whole. Send this video to a friend who has to help their kid learn fractions.